If you're a fan of Dead by Daylight, you'll probably want to try this. And not the throwing yourself off the ledge part. I meant the game. Death Garden is Behavior's new 5 vs 1 asymmetrical survival co-op game. And unlike Dead by Daylight, it's going to have you doing a lot more running and gunning. I'll be taking a first look at all the game's features, showcasing some gameplay as Scavenger, and giving my first impression of the game. The lore behind Death Garden paints scavengers as survivors of a great war between superpowers. The victors of this war built prosperous cities within a structure known as the Enclave, while the defeated were driven into the slums. Scavengers willingly enter the Death Garden and take part in the Blood Harvest, where they can prove their worth and be granted admission into the Enclave, if they survive. The reason I mention all this is to comment on the game's atmosphere. The moment I spawn into the lobby, I'm greeted by shattered windows, grey skies, and a dilapidated interior that instills a sense of poverty and desperation that the game's lore would have me believe. But if you contrast this lobby to the one the hunter spawns in, you'll notice a stark difference in how pristine the conditions are. The clear skies, magnificent view of the city, and even the subtle fact that the hunter spawns on a higher platform than the scavenger does, all shows the amount of detail the Death Garden developers put into conveying just how wide the quality of life gap is between the two factions. But enough about the backstory, let's see what features we've got here. So the upgrade vendor is where you spend currency earned from your matches. Seems like each scavenger has their own perks you can mix and match. Looking at the loadout screen, every scavenger gets a choice of two Vambrace powers, two perks, and two unique bonuses that can't be modified. The amount of variety here seems pretty low, but I'm pretty sure we'll get more perks in future updates. Looks like cosmetics will be coming in the future as well. Oh right, I played Death Garden during the beta, so BHVR gave participants these exclusive skins. Neat. There's five available scavengers to play as, each with their own signature ability. Same idea with hunters. I think I've got the gist of what the progression system looks like. Let's hop in a match and see how Death Garden plays compared to Dead by Daylight. That is some grisly looking loading screen art. I love it. I guess this is where we mess around until the match begins. Are we floating in the sky? Dropping from this height seems suicidal, unless you roll upon landing. Everyone knows you can survive falls from any height if you roll. Hashtag video game logic. Shooting objects marks them so your whole team can see them. These blue boxes give you power cores which allow you to use your ability, which in my case is invisibility. Very similar to DVD where the chase music plays if the killer finds you, although I think that hunter glanced over me. So this is the main objective of the game, which is to collect blood from these decorative lamp posts scattered across the map. Mm -hmm. 
The music that plays is like the terror radius from Dead by Daylight. Okay, that thing is a drone. I didn't know it at the time, but the hunter can activate these to reveal scavengers within their area of effect. I had no idea what button to press to use my invisibility. There we go. I just had to scroll up. These red boxes restore health, and if you get down, you can crawl to them to revive you. So once you collect blood, you also have to deliver it to one of the larger obelisks on the map. Deliver enough blood and the exit gates open. I guess 10 is the max you can carry and 125 is the goal. Wait a sec, delivering blood gives away my position? Whew, thank goodness I learned how to use my invis, but these bushes practically make me invisible anyways. If I remember correctly, that's the golden crate icon, which gives the team who loots it infinite ability usage for a short time. thing about scavenger abilities is that you can hit your teammates with them and they'll gain their effects. Although here I didn't have a clear shot at the person the hunter was focusing. So when someone gets downed, unlike in Dead by Daylight, the hunter can execute them immediately. This may sound harsh, but given the tools and mobility scavengers have at their disposal, it's pretty easy to hide and even lose the hunter in a chase. These yellow boxes are ammo crates, and they replenish normal bolts, which are used for things like marking objects and destroying hunter constructs. Looks like my team is destroying the inactive drone by the blood bank to prevent the hunter from activating it. That would be my first priority as hunter, to activate drones near the blood bank since I know scavengers will be around them the whole game. Scavengers can also destroy active drones, but these come back online and begin revealing the area again after about 15 seconds. Once you collect enough blood, or survive long enough, blood mode activates, which reveals all scavengers while they make a mad dash for the exit gates.
I got wrecked at the end, but this being my first Blood Harvest match ever, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So let me conclude with my thoughts about Death Garden. First and most importantly, the game was fun to play. There are elements of suspense, stealth, action, and teamwork that make for exciting matches with a variety of ways to play. Secondly, I liked how Death Garden had a progression system. Even if it's not fully fleshed out yet, being able to level up your perks and purchase new characters and cosmetics with in-game currency gives players a reason to keep playing. Thirdly, the art style was taken in a radically new direction since the game's beta phase, and it looks vastly more appealing since then. And finally, when comparing it to Dead by Daylight, I definitely enjoy the more active role I have running around, doing parkour, and helping out teammates. As a survivor in DBD, unless you're being chased by the killer, most of the game is spent holding mouse 1, which isn't very engaging. So Death Garden is a breath of fresh air for players who prefer more action in their gameplay. So that wraps up my thoughts about Death Garden. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around for the whole video, I've got a surprise for you. Leave a comment with the acronym PR anywhere in it, and I'll give a copy of Death Garden to two lucky users out of the first 100 that do so. And as always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for future content.